I have this idea that anyone today can make animated movies. This episode is about making that possible. And in this tutorial, we're looking at how to create your custom character, add reactions and dialogue to your character using a phone. Go to the MetaHuman website and then launch the MetaHuman creator. Choose a base character from this list. I'm looking for like a computer guy, so I'm choosing this guy. And then if you go to blend in the top right corner, you can pick three different faces to blend. So I'm gonna pick this guy, this guy, and another one. And this will give you sort of a triangle of faces here that if I drag this marker by the eye at any direction in this triangle, it will blend the face of whomever you've chosen up here. And you can blend the different markers on the entire face to fit your character. And then if you go down the list, you have skin color, you have eyes, you have teeth, you have makeup. It's like creating a game character, basically. So we don't need to go through them in detail. And once you're done with the character, it will automatically save it for you. Open Unreal Engine 5, go to Games, Third Person Template, name it whatever you want, hit Create. Then go to the Marketplace in the Epic Launcher. Search for Modular Sci-Fi Season 2. So I want you to find this one, Modular Sci-Fi Season 2 Starter Bundle. Click Add to Project show all projects, find your project, select it, and then if the version doesn't match, you select 5.0 in the dropdown, and then click Add to Project and Yes. Open your content drawer, highlight the content folder, and then filter by level. That will give you all of the levels in your folders, and I want you to open the first one named Example 2 Dynamic. That will give you a pre-built scene we can use and place your character wherever we want in this room. So let's get your character in here. Go to the plus icon up here, select Quixel Bridge, then go to MetaHumans and My MetaHumans. And here you'll find your character. Then select the character, hit Download and Add. And then go to the Content Drawer and remove the level filter that we put in earlier. Then find the MetaHuman folder, go into the folder of the character and find the BP file, which stands for Blueprint, and drag it out and this will drag out your character in the scene. So I'm gonna rotate my character and move it in position. Then I go to the plus icon, light, and find the rect light. Then drag the rect light in front of your character's face. And these jello borders represent where the light is coming from. So I want to simulate the light from a computer monitor. So you can move and rotate the light just like any object. And then here in the details panel, we can start editing the intensity of the light. So I'm gonna set that to a bit lower. Then you have the source width, which you can make a little bit narrower. And the height, which you can make a little bit shorter. So it almost looks like a monitor in front of him. And you also have the radius to play around with and the light color. And now if I look at my character's face, it almost looks like a computer monitor is shining on him. So I'm happy here. Now we're going to connect your facial expressions to your character, so you can create scenes with dialogue or reactions or whatever you want to do. Go to the App Store and put in Live Link. Then download the Live Link Face app, open it up, then press Live Link in the top, and then put in your IP address. If you don't know how to find your IP, just Google what is my IP question mark. Once you put in your IP address, go back to the project and go Edit, Plugins, and search for AR Kit and make sure this Apple AR Kit is checked and also this face support. If they're both checked, then select your character and then you will find this live link tab here that if you press this drop down, you can choose iPhone and then check this tick box called Use AR Kit Face. And now with the iPhone directed towards your face, you can see that your expressions are connected to your character. Now let me show you how to record this and put it into a scene. Go to the icon up here, click Add Level Sequence. Name it whatever you want and save. Open up the outliner panel and then find BP underscore your character name and drag it to the sequencer like this. Once that is done, you want to delete the meta human control rig. So select and hit delete and this face control rig, select and hit delete. Otherwise your connection with the iPhone won't work anymore. Now with the character selected in the sequencer, you can hit the record button. And once you start recording, any facial movement you do will be recorded on your sequencer. Once you're happy, you can stop the recording and find your best take. I'm gonna select this take. And for some extra effect, I'm gonna select this model here and I'm gonna drag this in front of his face to represent some monitor screens so that the light in his face makes more sense. 
And in my final steps, I added a camera to the sequencer, some basic movement, recorded my take, and then put it into Kaber for the cartoonish look. If you want to know how to make camera movements and use Kaber, check my previous tutorial in the series. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. 50 meters ahead, she's straight in front of you. Roger that, Nishki. Approaching slowly.